Hey everyone, RCOS here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. Last time we finished making our way through the entirety of the Path of Twilight, received the power of Master Sword that can cut through dark fog, and we made our way all the way to the boss door after collecting the final pieces of the heart as well. And this time we are gonna confront what can only be assumed to be Zan. But first, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a swig of a. swig of a potion here. And equip a few items that I think might be useful coming up. Put that on. Let's head in and see where we Big fancy door. And there he sits, upon the throne. Zan. Isn't that ironic? Here we are, all thanks to the dark magic curse you placed in Link. You speak of magic? Still your tongue for a moment, well, and I will tell you of both magic and the oppression of ages. The people of our tribe, a tribe that mastered the arts of magic, were locked away in this world like insects in a cage. In the shadows we regret, so much so that we soon knew neither anger nor hatred, nor even the faintest bloom of desire. And all of it was the fault of a useless, do-nothing royal family that had resigned itself to this miserable half-existence. I had served and endured in that depraved household for far too long, my impudent princess. And why, you ask? Because I believed I would be the next to rule our people. That is why! But would they acknowledge me as their king? No, and as such I was denied the magic powers befitting our ruler. It was then, in the thrall of hatred and despair, that I turned my eyes to the heavens and found a god. shall house my power in you. If there is anything you desire, then I shall desire it too. My god had only one wish. To merge light and shadow, and make darkness. Or gray. Uh, last time I checked, light and shadow makes like a light gray. Yusufer King's Zant. He clearly has not gone to art class. So this fight is one of the coolest fights in the entire game. We 
are back at the boss room of the first dungeon. Get your shadow right away. He is going to teleport around the place and shoot balls of energy at us, much like his little Zen hands have been, but, you know, like with a machine gun this time. Or his hands. Either or. Okay, I'll play. We used an item in this dungeon that helped us against the original boss. Let's see if it'll help us here. What you want to do is hit him with the boomerang. That'll get him flopping in the land, and then you want to do as much damage as you can. Ow. Oh yeah, and the water is still poison. There we go. Let's get him hopping back over, and this music. This, there are many faces to this song. I, I'm gonna be quiet and let you listen to the ones that I think are most notable, but listen to them all on your own time, trust me. They are notable. And we've now been warped to a mini boss in the, in the, uh, go on mine. Yeah, as you can probably guess, we're in kind of a boss rush, except it's not really the bosses. Whoa, ah, ah. Yeah, in this phase, he'll get tired. That's when you wail on him. You don't really need any damage, it's just, a matter, it's just a matter of how many phases can you get him to go through. You know, if you just constantly swing, that is. You also really don't need your iron boots. Next phase! Oh god, back to Morphil! We are underwater, so switch to your Zora tunic. You do need it. And the host, uh, air bar may not be there now, but it will be. And I recommend having your iron boots and your claw shot. We're done with the boomerang, so let's go back. Sure enough, we have a remix of the boss theme, but like a stamp version. When in this phase you want to hook shot him and then hit him as much as you can. For his head, he'll always work away. He has a giant stamp here. This battle is so chaotic and insane. This is my favorite part of this dungeon. The boss. It's ridiculous. It and just sent whole breakdown in personality there. You know, from this super calm individual you've come to know throughout the game. He's just this basically lunatic. That's the best way I can put it. He just loses it. That's not gonna reach. Yeah, that's not gonna reach. If you get too close, you'll get blown away by water, so don't try getting breath in the mouth. Ah, I guess right. Yeah, just how Zant's personality breaks down from jealousy and anger. It's really cool to see, and it, it, it reminds, like, I have a feeling they've been wanting to do this for years, and we got that with Gearham and Skyward Sword, but I feel like this was the beginning of that. We're now warped out of order. I did not mean to transform to a wolf. No item needed here. We just need to go right in. I do recommend you change off of the Zora armor, because his attacks, I don't remember if they do more damage against the Zora armor, but I would just change off of that anyway. After this music. This music is insane. Yeah, you deal with him just the same way as the monkey. You knock him off the totem, and then you go to town on his butt. Here's another nice remix. We are in the ice dungeon. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to quickly put on the ball and chain as he grows to a really ridiculous size. He's gonna stomp around the place. Keep an eye out above in the uh, glass down there to see where he is. Once he lands, he either hit his foot with the ball and chain, and then he suddenly shrinks, like, way smaller than he needs to be. You can also hit him with you cannot hit him with a bow. Okay, I thought you could hit him with a bow. If you wait too long, he'll reappear and grow in size again and prepare to stomp you. Remember, look down. But again, this music.
I can't get over how crazy the music is. Just everything about this fight. This is my favorite. Like, I forgot about this fight when I was saying like the others, like how much I love them. I'm gonna be honest. I think this is my favorite fight. Like, it's the climax to our confrontation with Dant all along, and it's insane. And just the remixes of this music are really cool too. Looks like the remixes are done though. We're for some reason in front of Castle Town, which is for some reason in the pyramid now. I don't know why. Looks like we're in for a one on duel. A one on one duel. Now damage counts. It's not a matter of just getting him to a certain point. Your shield is your friend. He goes. He does not know how to use a sword. He just. Oh, goes crazy. Do not let him corner you against the wall, though. Whoa! And he'll also do this. He'll do a crazy tornado attack. Again, do not let him corner you against the wall. Just wait this attack out. If you need to, roll around him. It'll not always work. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, this fight is insane. He, he like, Zan is straight up insane. Oh, God. Ah. This fight isn't really hard. It's just chaotic. Like, really chaotic. I've noticed how much damage I am taking in this fight, though. It's not hard. But, man, if you have not been, like, collecting all the hard pieces up to this point, you might actually be in trouble in hero mode. Use your shield. It is your friend. This fight is near impossible if you're not using your shield. Like, you can technically dodge him, but you're better off using the shield, trust me. That being said, don't get too accustomed to it. He will occasionally hit you through it. In fact, he can even break through it to an extent. Now he's just psyching us out. He's not even going all the way to us. The faster you can Z-target him, the better. Let's finish this off. Not quite. Yeah, I don't know why we're in front of Castle Town. I don't know why Castle Town is coming in the pyramid, but it's it's cool either way. We're back in the, technically the world of life, but not really. Let's finish Dan off. And so falls Usurper King Zan. You traitors! Traitors? Ha! Huh. You want to know why none would call you your king? It was your eyes, Zant. All saw it, a luster power burning in your pupils. Do you think we forget our ancestors lost their king to such grief? Midna. Foolish Twilight Princess, I did not get to read that, whoops. It was placed in you by the magic of my god, the power you held as near the tribe will never return. He said something about the curse, my bad, I accidentally hit ZL, or ZR, sorry about that. Already has he, he has descended and been reborn in this world. As long as my master Ganon survives, he will resurrect me without cease. I use just a fraction of the power that's in me now. I did that? Using only a fraction of my ancestors' magic? It looks like Minna's stick is an imp for now, but we never know either way.
Link, now's the time. We must save Zelda. The evil power Zant was wielding. I couldn't take it from him. But at least I still have the magic of my ancestors. With it, I can return the cherished power Zelda bestowed upon me. Now, let's go. Princess Zelda is waiting. Yeah, sorry about skipping that text. I let the gamepad rest in my lap and uh, it hit ZR, which acts as A for some reason. But we have a bigger prize here other than beating Zant and getting the few shadows back. We have the final heart container that'll give us 20 hearts. We received our final heart container. Life energy has been increased by one and fully replenished, and we have 20 hearts. We've done almost everything in the game, guys. As of this point, we just have to help Zelda and defeat Ganon. I'll get you out of here. You sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? Uh, I don't want to save. Not yet. <laughs> We're back at the entrance. So Ganondorf was just using Zant to help him return to the Word of Life. I guess now we know the true nature of that barrier over Hyrule Castle. He's in Hyrule Castle. I'm sure of it. Princess Zelda is in grave danger. We must return to the Word of Light and hurry to the castle. And with that added sense of urgency, let's head out of the Twilight Realm. Nothing else to do here. Such a cool dungeon. Let me sad to leave it behind. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. Let's head out. It's nighttime out here. We have Twilight still here and in one piece. And with this, We've been giving the objective to go to Hyrule Castle. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, there is nothing else side stuff, I, as far as I know, that we can do right now. There is the Cave of Ordeals, the Cave of Shadows, the fishing uh, minigame up in the uh, Upper Zora River, and the rest of the pose. We will be doing all that stuff post-game live stream. For now, I think it's best to go ahead and head to Hyrule Castle and see if we can face uh, Ganondorf. And with that, Minna, warp us. I wouldn't mind stocking up on some stuff, though. I think we're good in rupees. I don't see myself needing to use magic armor in the final battle, to be totally honest. Especially considering we have uh, Great Fairy's Tears. I think a fairy. Don't we have a fairy? Yeah, we have Great Fairy's Tears, a Fairy, and a Blue Potion. And I want to get another Blue Potion real quick. But now we know this barrier was created by Ganondorf, not Zelda. Or Zelda. Not a Zant. They both start with Z. Yes, Zelda created the barrier. She was the true evil all along. Uh, let's stop by Maui Mart real quick. Just to get a blue potion. We have everything we need to prepare us for a fight in Hyrule Castle. How fitting that we're heading here at night time. I'm kind of curious. Do we hear anything if we go by, uh... Okay, uh, let's talk to you first. I wonder if we hear, go, go by Thomas Bar if we hear anything new. Uh, blue potion. Yes, I'll take it. I don't remember needing bones for anything coming up, but I'll take... I don't... I'll take some. As you wait, we have a ton of bombs in another bag. Oh, I did not need bombs. Alright, we have over a thousand rupees. Magic Armor uses money really fast, but like I said, I don't think we'll be relying on Magic Armor really for the final battle. And I will say too, just in advance, 
don't worry if you're like men when going to the uh, final battle, but want to do some more stuff after the final battle. Don't worry. You can stick. You can go back to it. Going to the next quote unquote dungeon. That is in one go. But I will tell you in advance. There's a hard point coming up where it will stop you from saving. So don't worry about that. You're not like you. Once you finish the game, you can still boot it back up. Why am I going in here? This is what happens when you aimlessly walk around without thinking. Let's head over to Thomas Bar and see if we can see anything. We'll do that and then head off to Hyrule Castle. And it is so surreal to be to this point in the game. We are almost done. We have 20 hearts. We have every heart piece in the game. And this is, like, up until Breath of the Wild, this was the game with the most heart pieces. It is so incredibly surreal to be to this point. Let's head down here. Tell me. I think there's anything new in the bar here. I say, here's the mailman. We're never gonna see him again. What to order? What to order? I do believe I will start with meat. Okay then. <laughs> Just gonna ignore him. Gama? Oh! There's a cutscene! What's that, honey? It is my- oh. Really? Mercy! If that isn't the best news I've heard all day! You did a great job, honey. Anything else? You take good care of Ilya, you hear me? But then again, I suppose you've got a few other things on your plate right now, don't you? Anything else? Okay, no. I didn't actually know she said something about Ilya. I've never done that. Huh. What about back here? Yes, yes, my golden friend came in handy, did he not? Link. Must be- okay. Okay, uh... None of them say anything, do they? I'll talk to all of them anyway, real quick. Uh... No, no mission to stay me, but a comp- Okay, we're done here, actually. <laughs> I was hoping they'd say something! They don't... Toma did, but in response to Ilya. That's nice, though. I wish those characters got more information. I don't know if they do in the manga or not. I don't think the manga's really touched on them much yet. But I'm... I kind of hope they do, because they don't... There's not much to them in the game. Anyway, with all that done, there's nothing else for us to do. But head straight for Hyrule Castle. Can't zoom in here, which would be nice. You got anything to say, guards? Castle's in a pyramid. Nobody can get into the castle. Maybe we should tell them all to disperse? Uh, who are you talking about? There's no one here. What? If you need something, get the tell the soldier over there. Okay, these guys are useless.
And after that, Minda has successfully used the uh, Fear Shadow to turn into a giant demon spider and uh, broke the barrier in Hyrule Castle. Uh, yeah, that, I don't know how I feel about that scene. I like it, but why a demon spider? Hopefully Minna never loses control of that power. My god, that's terrifying. But yeah, the barrier has been broken on Hyrule Castle. On this left, the head on in. And I will tell you, this is a dungeon, but it's unlike the dungeons we have seen so far. It's a dungeon, but it's not puzzle-oriented. At least not fully. There is also no heart pieces. It's just the boss door, boss key, and items throughout. Let's head on in. As we still have five minutes left in the video. Hooray. Welcome, guys, to Hyrule Castle. Can I just say I love the atmosphere of Hyrule Castle? There's no music. This courtyard is empty and barren. It's super eerie. We do see sit there are some monsters off to the sides, though. Other than that, there's just the pterodactyl birds. Something's not right here, but it's just eerie. And it's rain. It's just, I love, I've always loved the atmosphere at this point in the game. But as you can see, we do not have our power to master anymore, but these also are not twilight enemies. They're weaker. To an extent, anyway, some of them. The main entrance here is locked off. I said that is a massive door. For such a just small entrance beneath that, <laughs> it's like the uh, scene in a uh, trying to chocolate factory. How there's a massive door, but the actual door is. I think that's what that move. I think it is from that movie. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. But we have a massive area here and a tall dungeon at that. There are the usual items, but there's no heart pieces. We just have to focus on getting through it. And I will say, this dungeon is more combative than the others. Like, way more. You're not going to be having to worry about puzzles quite as much. I'm going to say, let's go to the right first. Also, it's a dungeon, there's no Uku. Y'all get the picture. We got a bird, and these guys. We have a new type of barrier here that matches the barrier that was around the castle there, and we got some really old enemies here. Yeah, we, we haven't seen these guys really since Southern Hyrule Field and Theron Woods. It's been a while. Yeah, that barrier is different from the one Xanth and I was setting up. Interesting. Although, we're at about 28 minutes now. I think we are going to actually end this episode here. So next time, we're going to be making our way further through Hyrule Castle. I do not think next episode will be the finale. The episode after that probably will also not be the finale, because this dungeon is actually pretty large. It, it takes a bit to get through it. It's longer than the Palace of Twilight, I would say. Plus, I don't want to shortchange... Uh an episode too much, but I don't want to make the final boss episode too long either, as I will tell you right now, this is the final dungeon. The final boss is here. So if there's anything left you want to do before this point, do it now. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. We have collected every heart piece in the game, beat every other dungeon in the game, defeated Xant, and re and I uh, reobtained the few shadows, and next time we'll be heading further in the Hyrule Castle. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.